the purpose of this video is to send a message to the now deceased Elliot Roger. <clears throat> if you don't know about Elliot Roger, you can look it up on YouTube. Just search Elliot Roger, R O D G E R. Elliot Roger was a 22 year old college student going to school in Santa Barbara, California. He was so bothered by the fact that no girls found him attractive enough to have sex with him because he's still a virgin. So he was a YouTuber. He made YouTube videos. And the videos that I watched that I decided I would watch were of all of him talking about how he was so pissed off that no girls wanted to have sex with him, no girls found him attractive, and all this pussy ass bullshit. And in the final video, which is no longer on his account, was of him describing how he would take out his vengeance on those who have rejected him. He said he was going to go to a sorority house and shoot up all the nice pretty blonde girls and then he was going to go down the street and shoot whoever he saw on the street. He never talked about taking his own life which I do believe he ultimately did because they said that they found him in the car with a gunshot wound to the head and they didn't know if it was uh, by police officers or it was self-inflicted. I believe it was self-inflicted because most of these times these cases end up with the shooter killing themselves because, you know, as they were a pussy in life, they're going to be a pussy if they have to face their consequences. So I believe he shot himself. And what I want to say to him, even though he will never see it, but I feel like I have to address I have to address him if, as if I were talking to him. What I have to say is that <clears throat> really you you're only 22 years old. You have yet to even live any portion of your adult life and you're just going to cop out and quit because you haven't got laid yet. What kind of idiot are you? You talk about, I'm the perfect guy. Uh, I got this, I got that, I look like this and that. And what, why wouldn't any girl want me? Well, obviously, they saw something in you that they didn't like. So, maybe this was for the best. Because anyone who could fathom the idea of killing people because of their um, shortcomings doesn't deserve love, doesn't deserve uh, acceptance from anybody. And that's exactly the case because you, you, you didn't even, you haven't even lived your life. You could have gave it time. You, I'm sure you would have found some girl to like you eventually. Hardly, you are a good looking guy. Hardly any good looking guys go their whole life without finding somebody. You would have found someone. But no, you wanted to be an impatient little bitch and cry and moan about not finding a girl to have sex with you. And that's just ridiculous because, nigga, if you would have asked me, I would have fucked you. But no, you wouldn't find me attractive. See, that's the double standard there. You are upset that girls are not attracted to you but you only want the most attractive girls that there are out there you I mean have you had you even once tried to ask a girl out just went up to a girl that you liked and said hey can I take you out can I get your number anything I mean cuz the way you're talking you're talking like you just sit around and you just go to school and you're all to yourself and you never talk to anybody, don't have any friends. Uh, I mean, granted, you did say that nobody, you tried to fit in 
and with the popular kids and all this shit. But fuck the popular kids. You're setting your, the bar too high. You're only settling for the most attractive ones that you could find. I mean, what's wrong with a fat girl? What's wrong with a less attractive girl? Is In my opinion, those are the best ones. The ones that are most attractive and blonde and skinny. Stuck up and conceited most of the time. In conclusion, I just want to say that you are a ridiculous excuse for a person. You're just as bad as those um, obnoxious guys that you described that were the only ones that could get girls. You're just as bad. You're not any different. I mean... The only thing that makes you different is you didn't have any friends. You didn't get any girls. You sounded like one of those obnoxious guys. You sound very obnoxious. I don't I didn't see what your point was as to the girl should be with you and not with that because I don't see a difference. You it's unfortunate that you had to take six other people's lives before you took your own. Because that's nobody else's problem. In my opinion, you didn't even try. You never went up to girls and asked them out. If you would have just took a day and just asked out every single girl that you saw at school, I'm sure you would have got at least a couple numbers, at least a couple contacts in your phone. But you quit. You gave up. And... Look at me, I haven't been with anybody for a few years now, and you don't see me freaking going around stabbing people to death because I can't get laid. <clears throat> I could care less, honestly. Whenever I do find somebody, that day will come, but right now, I don't give a fuck. You are just a horny little bastard who didn't know what he was doing you're just one less asshole people have to deal with so sorry it had to be this way